there, I'm Maria Franklin and I'm back this week with Writing Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk about getting started with writing a novel, both in a mindset sense and a practical sense. <laughs> to my channel. It's great to have you here. Whether you've just stumbled across my channel or whether you've been watching these videos of mine for a while. But before I get into the gold of today's topic, which is getting started with your novel, do hit that subscribe button for me. I've got so much inspiration for you, both already here on my channel and yet to come, that you won't want to to miss a thing. So if you're watching this on or around the time it's been released, you'll know that as well, here in the UK we're in a back to school season which to me kind of feels like um, a sort of second new year uh, and a perfect time to get started with something new in terms of writing and I do lose count of how many people I get into conversation with who ask me what I do for a living and when I tell them I'm an author the most common response is oh I've love to write a book. My response is the same to them every time, which is, so why don't you? And then the most common response I get back to that is, I wouldn't know where to start, which has prompted me to record this video and put together a free PDF, which you can download. More about that in a moment though. Um, it will address this problem of not knowing where to start. So if you want to write a novel, what's your reason for not getting started as yet? Do drop into the comments to let me know. If I can identify more of these stumbling blocks that writers face, I can address these then in future videos. Um, and I've also linked at the end of this video about making your eight-year-old self and 80-year-old self proud in relation to your writing and what prouder thing is there than holding a book you've written in your hands. Honestly, there's no feeling like it and I want you to experience this too. Not just the achievement, but the magic of other people reading it and of them paying to read it as well. And then once you've proven to yourself that you can do it once, well, yes, you can do it again. And maybe like me, your children are all grown up now, which might be affording you more freedom to have your time now. Perhaps you're planning something exciting for when you retire, uh, when you can fully commit yourself, or maybe you're exploring an option with which does have the potential for earning you passive income, and it might ultimately free you from that grind of the nine to five. So my first novel took me a lot longer to write than it takes me now. The first novel is where you learn your craft and develop your confidence. But believe me, if you've got the ability to craft enjoyable short stories, then you've got the ability to extend this into a full length novel. And it's possible also to, to bridge that gap to start with and perhaps look at writing a novella first off. So once you've made this decision of what you're going to write, whether it's a full length novel or a novella, um, the length will depend on the genre, of course, You'll but then you'll need to carve out the time and the space to write. And one of the wonderful things I would say about writing a novel is the lack of outlay that's necessary right in the beginning. Uh, you can literally get by with a notebook and a pen. However, you might be a writer who goes straight onto the computer and at some stage you would need to type up your handwritten draft anyway. But let's face it, the majority of households do have a computer nowadays or if not, there's always access to them at the library. So what you will need 
is uh, lots and lots of uh, enthusiasm uh, and a willingness to give it a go. So I'm now going to give you an outline of the six step process I use to get started. So number one is decide on the genre that you'll write in. Uh, so where will your book be shelved in a bookshop or in a library for example. Number two, what will be the premise for your story? A great idea is to pose a what if kind of question. Make it something within your chosen genre and something you're excited about. Uh, for example, as a psychological thriller author, I might pose the question, uh, what if a woman was posing as a domestic abuse victim when in reality she was the abuser? Number three, who will be your characters? You will need to get to know at least your main two uh, in depth before you bring them to the page. I would say this is what works for me. There should be some sort of conflict there. Again, this should relate to your genre that you've chosen. One of them should want something which is at odds with the other. And number four, develop a plan. Uh, what will happen first and then what and then what what the action and the tension will rise as the story progresses peaking and troughing before cultivating in a climax to the story before it's concluded and resolved if you have a rough idea of where you're heading before you set off then you're going to have much more chance of, of actually getting there uh, and number five, where will your first scene be set? Um, so character action and dialogue doesn't occur in a vacuum. Part of the craft of writing is drip feeding that sense of place through our narrative. We need to engage all the senses to do this. The reader should be able to see and hear, smell and get a feeling for the environment we're introducing them to. And number six, when you've got all this, you'll be yearning then to write your opening paragraph. And this should offer a flavour of the genre. It should also introduce your main character and you should go in with a bang. Something should be happening in your story opening. So for more guidance through each of these six starting elements, uh, download my free guide to getting started with your novel. The link is uh, below this video. And then once you do get going, you might like to join me every Friday for your writing lunch. It's a space where you can write here alongside me, uh, here live on my YouTube channel. And you also get the, the opportunity to, to ask any writing related questions which may arise as either on, through the hour itself or between the sessions. So that's every Friday at 12 midday in UK time that is so honestly we've, we've got one life if you've got a dream to write a novel do it and if you don't try you'll you'll never know so keep me posted with how you're getting on and if you enjoyed today's writing tip Tuesday do give me a thumbs up uh, and don't forget to download that free getting started guide so happy novel writing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.